Well, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new video guys. I just got back from a trip uh, A 1200 mile trip with the 335 so it made it 1200 miles no problem at all So I'm really happy about that But however, it is pretty dirty now So I would like to do a full interior detail on it I haven't really done a proper full detail interior detail on the car since I've owned it like I've cleaned it here and there But I've never really done a proper detail So today I'm gonna be doing a proper detail on it because it's starting to get dirty It's starting to need a detail the sides are all dirty I mean, I went to the desert, so there's a ton of sand everywhere. So I'm gonna properly clean the floor mats, properly clean the carpets, clean the whole dash, everything. I'm gonna take out all the garbage, clean up all the trash, and then clean the seats as well with a leather cleaner and leather detailer. So we're gonna go ahead and do all that. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like right now. guys so I pretty much vacuumed out everything and I went ahead and used this little brush right over here to brush out the little crevices and then vacuumed under it so I can pick up all the dust so now we're all vacuumed up it's already looking way better but the next step is to go ahead and actually properly clean off like the sides like this so let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm gonna use so for the majority I'm gonna be using this all-purpose citrus cleaner from purple power um, this works really well as well as purple power itself the purple degreaser they both work pretty well but the purple power sometimes is a little bit over powering so I like to use this so I'm gonna be using this on all the dirty spots around the car so like the edges the door panels the door seals everywhere around there and pretty much just everywhere that I see dirt so that's the plan for now so let's go ahead and start doing that All right guys, so I wiped down everything now with, with the all-purpose cleaner. I went ahead and wiped down everything so the door panels are all good, the dashboard's all good, the center console is all good. Everything's wiped down now. The next step is to use some natural shine protectant on the dash and the door panels and everything. So it makes it nice and shiny, nothing too crazy shine, but just enough to make it look good. And it's actually a protectant as well, as you guys can see over here. So we're gonna go ahead and do all that real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and shine off everything else that I think needs to be shined off. So like the leather pieces, I'm gonna shine that stuff too. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean the seats. Alright 
guys, so we went ahead and did the shine all over the place. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. So I don't know if you guys can tell from before, but there is a little bit of a shine on the door panels now and on the dash. It's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely way cleaner than before. Even over there, I did all the doors, all the door panels. I did the dash and just these bottom little pieces right here to get it all shined up. So now that that's all shiny, now we need to go ahead and clean the seats. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my leather conditioner, uh, leather quick detailer from Chemical Guys. This is what I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it on a rag and then wipe off all the seats. And it brings a nice leather smell to it. I kind of like the smell of leather, so it's kind of perfect for me. But yeah, this is what we're gonna be using. So we went ahead and did the leather conditioner as well. It gives the leather a nice little leather smell, nice uh, little finish on it. Uh, definitely feels clean, smells clean, that's why I like doing it. But now we're pretty much almost done. The last thing is to go ahead and put in the, the rubber floor mats. So I cleaned them off pretty good, but they still need to dry. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a towel and dry them all up real quick and then put them in the car. And then show you guys a little bit of B-roll once it's all clean. A couple hundred miles away Denying that something has changed You're blaming me too complicated But I will never stay the same So I will drive and drive and drive and drive Baby, just so I can make it through the night Yeah, I will drive and drive and drive and drive So we can try to make it simple all right guys, so I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but the difference is really crazy for me at least. Um, I've been driving this car really dirty recently, so I definitely need to do a detail, and now the detail is done and it looks so good in here. I haven't seen it this good since I bought it, honestly. It's all nice and clean in here now. Like I said, it's been a super long time since I've detailed this car, so now that it's all detailed, it's all good to go. Um, this long trip made it a little bit dirty, but now it's all clean, so uh, we're ready to go ahead and the video right here, guys. So remember to follow me on Instagram, Instagram. Remember to subscribe down below guys. It really helps me out uh, If you enjoy my videos if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out make sure to subscribe It really really helps me out guys make sure to leave a like comment everything uh, But yeah guys without further ado remember to stay safe stay happy and stay in that project car I will catch you guys later So much money spent on fuel Beating heartache on the move Sometimes I just wish we knew